Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back once again in the beautiful world of Bohemia. Now, when we last left off, we have two things to take care of at night. One of those is to meet the priest at the inn, and the other to meet the ladies in the woods, to see what sort of shenanigans they are up to. And that's what we'll try to do this episode. I don't know which one I'll do first, because I don't know if there's any consequence for delaying one of them. But I guess we'll just scroll with it, and we'll see what happens. Because I will have to skip time, because it's still very early in the day. <coughs> and unless I find something else to do, I... I don't really know what else I can do, because there is no blacksmith here in Ujits. I thought there was, but there isn't, so I can't uh, fix my armor, which I wanted to do, because everyone keeps telling me that I look like I was attacked by bandits, which is not at all wrong, it's just... Is not, it's also not entirely true. Now, what to do, what to do? Hmm. There is a, there's the priest, I think. I don't know if we should tell him about the witch thing. Let's see Good day to you. if we can tell him anything. Okay. <coughs> Father, didn't I see you outside practicing swordplay? I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. Alright. So, let's see if something has jogged his mind. To help me solve that murder. Let's leave it for the evening. Come to the tavern after sunset and we'll talk it over. Alright. I guess... That's it. Okay, so what to do, what to do. Hmm. Let's say that I decided to go back here to our reading teacher's house. Okay, there is someone there, so... Let's see if he has some books, you know. Well, here he probably doesn't have any books. But um, yeah, he has some skins, but as I said, the skins aren't really that worth it. So let's. Has he any books here? No. What does he have here? Nothing. Okay. Ooh, it's a very hard lock. I mean, should I try it? Yeah, it's. Oh, he doesn't even let me try it. Okay, so it's kind of like Fallout, then. Alright. Who are you? Oh, you're the bailiff. Alright. Good day to you. Can I... Is there anything else? Okay, let's How ask about the priest. The priest. <coughs> so, yeah, peculiar sort of fellow. I noticed he's quite handy with a sword. He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once he's intervened in the brawl in the tavern. And sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken lightly. Okay. That required those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priesthood, and our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how it goes with those aristocrats. But I heard something happened, and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know what he got up to though. Mm. Shenanigans, I imagine. I'll be with you. Big, big shenanigans. Hello, sir. No, there he goes. Yeah, never mind. Well, actually, do mind, because I want to speak with him. Ooh, but I also want to... Okay. I want to speak with you. See if you can Mind's sell me anything. Let's talk trade. Ooh, boy. There's a lot of books. Jesus Christ, so... 
about how the Czechs indulge in sin and wrongdoing. <laughs> this is bound to be fun. How good meat is brewed? This, this is the most important. Maidens War 2, about how the Maidens War ended. Okay. <coughs> On Pride. Okay. On Simony. Alright. So, ah, okay, there is some skill books here. Can only... Oh, I can read this one. And it will allow my skill to... Okay, let's, let's try it. Let's buy this one. What can I sell you? Okay, I can sell you this one that I that I read. I'm not gonna make my money back, but I read it. There's no point in, in, in keeping it, I think. Even if I could go back and read them properly, I don't think I will do that, so... Why is my speech lowered? Ah, never mind. Okay, let's haggle. <coughs> I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? All right, so, uh, you will want to get, no, I will want, wait, what? Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. Okay, I have a skill book, so I'll go to the tavern. And we'll study the book. We'll sit down and we'll study the book. And we'll see what happens. I probably will have to pass the time. But no matter. Alright. So. No, wait. Is there... Okay, inventory. Others. And... Where is that book? Ah, here it is. Primer. Read. Alright. Okay, so we might as well study it for a hundred hours, so let's let's go. So this is how we study the, the skill books. Okay, it makes sense, I mean, instead of just reading through them, like we would usually do with the others. Although they do have text, so... <coughs> Alright, I've improved reading. Because I can't even go forward with the pages, so... Alright. What's the progress on this? Oh, it's 100%. So, okay, that's... That's interesting. Is the priest somewhere? Okay, get up. We need to find the priest. And... He's... Inside, maybe? Yeah, inside with his lady. So, Master Priest, there. let us talk. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. As you wish. But maybe we can work something out. Oh, come on. First, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. As you wish. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Well, I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl... Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? 
<laughs> I'd have expected Sir Hannish to send that old grouch Bernard. To the women. <laughs> God bless them. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujits, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claim. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. One the Lord moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> Daddy does. This is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. All right. I notice there's a woman living with you at the presbytery. What of it? Have you never met a cleric who lives with a woman before? Mother Church won't let me take her to wife. Too afraid it might lose its property to any heirs she bore me. But she cooks and cleans. And, well, as a man, I have my needs. I'm not sure the parish priest at St. James would agree with you. <laughs> I, I heard he was a bit odd. All right, let's get well, to the point. an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Oh, shut up. Let's not accuse him of making excuses. The guy won't take lightly to it. But okay. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But you said first thing oh. I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't prog. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. Now that was a book about him. A, full house. a journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison and nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated no. just like a flock of hungry <gasps> ravens they settled on this land to devour every grain no. of gold and the silver church. they don't know mercy their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth and they shamelessly profit from everything you want to baptize a child pay you want to steal and murder pay and you will have absolution what if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? Oh, With he's such so drunk. money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. 
They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. I like you. Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. <laughs> you so glad I got him drunk. And his people, too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Yes, let's. Honey, that last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Hoot preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasa Monastery. Okay. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then Chris is for, for debauchery? Damn. No, I don't. What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Okay. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundation. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Shit. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Aye. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. <laughs> oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Yeah, of course. Ah. ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sounds like a plan to me as well. I guess I'll pass the night. Oh, I like this. Why do I think that something bad will happen? Oh, this is cool. Oh, Henry, you. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, he's drunk. Yep. Enough of this. Oops. Oh God! Come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? Oh so, boy! I'll have you all whipped. And put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! <laughs> Men, throw them out. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to go, but... You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Wait, what? Oh, bloody hell. What? Come on, then, bailiff. Yeah, I'll out. send you oh, straight to hell. Well, No, Corva. I'm going to... Oh. 
Oh God. Wait. Where? Where am I? Oh God. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Uh, wait. What? Watch the step, my dear. Careful. Oh. My god, I can't see anything. There's like... There's like... Ooh, I'm in a private area. Oh god. Here we are. Look at this beauty. What happened? How did we come here? We can't do this. Can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. Oh god. <laughs> Oh God! Captain Bernard will hear of this, won't this he? This is wonderful. Oh priest! Oh God! Ah, bloody elf! And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my! Oops. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Oh my God! I will have so much trouble censoring this. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> okay, so if... I don't know how I should censor this. Oh god, what happened? Oh my goodness. Why am I in my breeches? Where's my... Where's my stuff? Oh, thank goodness, I have everything. Oof. Oh god, I'm so nauseated. Oh god. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I'm hungry. And I'm drunk. And everything is gone down. Oh god. <laughs> Look at this. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs> oh God, there he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I will have to censor this because YouTube won't allow me. <laughs> Holy heck. I was not expecting that. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great <laughs> friend, Henry. Oh God! Didn't we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, stay on in my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Wait, before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. Wait, is it Sunday? What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? Where the <laughs> fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. <laughs> oh. You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. Wait, what? what? So, 
first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're a start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> Oh. Ooh. How about this? <laughs> you help me with this? I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh. Okay, so. Oh my. Aha. So all at once the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Mm. Well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. But what do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern. And oh, that's boy. That. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Oh God. Um... God be with you. What can I do for you? Oh. What's the matter with you? We have to start. Okay, okay, just let me dress then. Let me get dressed at least, like. Maybe take my queer ass out and the coif. Just let me just dress something. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so the other quest, the playing with the devil, is not failed yet, so that's good. So I can I can go to the next night. Oh I'm still a bit drunk. My god, will I remember everything from the sermon? I guess we'll have to find out. Reputation lost. Oh, God. <laughs> never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. <laughs> Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. Yeah, this is really not. Yeah, so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Keep it together, sir. Come on. Amen. Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh. Cepit panem. In sanctas. Oh, those. Amanus suas. Hapacite <laughs> in meam commemorationem. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you don't need any more of it. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scarlet's. Who's here at the behest of Sir Hanus? Hold it. To investigate that heinous crime. Keep it in. Neuhoff. Okay. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University. Oh, that voice. <laughs> I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because 
As you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular <laughs> preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious. Curious what <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's. Oh God! With a bite to eat. <laughs> okay, so ooh, this is not good. Okay, begin confidently. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Uh, Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> okay, that was not good. Um... It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans... Hunger and, and and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost <laughs> the whole of Christmas. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder, pay, and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame! Shame upon them! And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines? Even though only Ooh. marital intercourse, for the purpose of procreation, is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Okay, let's keep modestly. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, <laughs> and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Aye! All honor to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. I don't that think he can take any more drinking. Amen. Oh, that was so cool. This episode is very, very cool. Holy hell. Okay, can I... Can I get down? The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was... The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver tongue. came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague, and he told it nicely. Ooh. My God. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so yeah, it's come on. So it's a God does <laughs> So, <laughs> what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? 
Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour, and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko, Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. <laughs> and anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should <laughs> ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. Try, do try not to puke on the church, will you? Oh, wow. This... This was eventful. Like... And I am sorry for the length of, it, of this episode, but I... I had... I had to leave this episode running. Because this was just... Heading in a very interesting way. And... Uh, uh, can I speak to you, Bailiff, sir? Good health to you. Uh, okay, yeah, no, there's nothing new, so. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, boy, let's keep her away from us. Okay, the same talk we heard last episode. Well, that was certainly interesting. Very, very interesting. So... I don't know what to say, but my dear friends, my dear viewers, this will be it for today's episode. I will have to find a way to censor that imagery that appeared in a certain part of the episode. Because, well, YouTube won't just allow it to, to happen. I'll have to find a way to, to censor it, just so I don't get into any risks. At most, I can just put a black screen over it if I don't manage to do anything else. But this is it for today's episode. I hope I remember to put this episode up in time instead of a double episode on Friday. But yes, if you've enjoyed it, please do leave your like and your comment in the comment section down below. I do look forward to read your opinions on this game and on my content in general. And if you'd be so kind to go the extra mile, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. We are nearly to our goal of 50 subscribers. And with that said, I'll bid you a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.